what's up youtube what's cool what's cool what's happening welcome back to my channel it's time for life so i cannot sit idly by and let this go on without me saying something about it and i know the internet is very quick to switch up whatever they're focusing on but i thought i had to give my views on this thing that hit the internet the other day well a few days ago now and i thought about it long and hard and i was like how am i going to break this down and i just wrote a few ideas that i had about the whole situation about the rapper ti which you may all know I'm gonna play you the audio clip of an um, interview that the rapper ti had on a podcast talking about you know they were talking about how his daughter is turning 18 and how has he had the sex talk with him yet and he was like i got one better for you i go every year to the guy know can't even say it it's terrible. You just have to listen to it. So listen. Have you had sex with your daughters? Never. I would go. <laughs> Which, by the way, your daughters are so beautiful. Yeah, so beautiful. So, um, so I'm sure you have her hands full. And like, yeah, that was she 18, so she definitely knows. Oh, sex. Yeah. Well, this is the Deja, right? She's 18. Yes, right? Deja's yes. 18. Just graduated high school now, and she's uh, attending her first year of, of college, mm -hmm. figuring it out for herself. Uh, and yes. Not only have we had the conversation, <laughs> we have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her height. Oh, you, okay. <laughs> I'm done with you right now. So, you know, uh, do you go with her? Yes, yes, I go with her. <laughs> you go with her. Somebody check on Deja. I go with her. <laughs> She's a prisoner. So let me tell you, right? So, so this is one time oh, we go. No. I think this might have been after her 16th birthday. And this is what we do, like you know, right after the birthday, we celebrate. And, we go and check know, her hymen after. And then, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, usually like the day after the party, she's enjoying her gifts. I put a sticky note on the door. Got no. Tomorrow, nine thirty. This is great. <laughs> and so, so look, right? So we'll go, you know what I mean? We'll go and, and uh, we sit down. We'll sit down and the doctor will come and talk. And, you know, doctors maintain a high level of professionalism. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, you know, sir, I have to, you know, in order for me to share the information, I say, Danger, they want you to sign this. <laughs> they want you to sign this. this right now. I didn't know if your hymen's still there. So we can, uh, <laughs> Share information. Do you have anything? Is there anything that you would not want me to know? Oh, okay. See, Doc, ain't no problem. You are the worst. And so, and so then, right? Then it comes say, okay. Uh, well, I just want, I just want you to know that there are other ways besides sex that the hymen can be broken. Right. Like bike riding. Uh -huh. Really. Athletics. Horseback riding. That's aggressive. Uh, <laughs> that is aggressive and, riding. You know, just right. other other forms of, of athletic physical activity. Is she an athlete? Can no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there you so go. I said, like, I said, look, that's I said, look, dog. I said, look, dog. She's not. <laughs> she don't ride no horses. She don't ride no bikes. She don't play no sports, man. Just check the hymen, please. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back my results. Oh, dude. Expeditiously. <laughs> <No>. Expeditiously. <laughs> but I will, you know, I will say as of my 18th birthday, her hymen is still <laughs> Deja, you are an angel. Now, I've heard a lot of stories. Some people say, oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is a dad being involved in the child's life. Got too many dads being absent. And then some people are like, this is plain disgusting. And what I will say is I agree with the latter. I think it's disgusting. I think it is disrespectful. I think it is dishonoring. And I think it's embarrassing. That is what I think. I think it's disgusting because, okay, now people, a lot of people made it out to seem like he was actually there, like, you know, looky looking together with the guy. No, I don't think it's like that. But he was in the room and he gained consent to get the information of whatever came out of that procedure. But he gained consent by kind of sort of telling the, the daughter, yo, uh, you need to sign this paper right here. Some people would say it's forced, you know. He, he told his daughter, you know, that she needs to sign the paper for him to be able to see the results or hear about the results. And therefore she did that. I don't think he was 
necessarily present but it's still disgusting just the idea i had never ever heard of anything like this before and i think nobody has ever ever heard of anything like this before it's embarrassing because now everybody knows this poor child's business and i feel like whether you're you're doing the poom poom or you're not doing the poom poom whether you what if you declare to the entire world or you declare to some people what it is that you're doing regarding that that is still you sharing you know that is still you sharing that part of yourself that's still you sharing your your sexual habits your sexual business and everything and it's all out there and so i just i think that is embarrassing for her he says he's gonna go to college and all these type of things and people are gonna know who she is because obviously she's very famous um, because of her dad, her pictures are all over the internet, so it's not like she's gonna walk there anonymously. All I could think about is why is he doing this? Why is he doing this to her every year? Post birthday party, like that just seems like the saddest thing to do. And then I was thinking maybe, maybe she's hanging around the wrong kind of crowd, the wrong kind of dudes, and he's just scared that he's gonna end up with some dude that's running around, moving fast, probably like the dad is because you know the. You know, some of these rappers, I have to say some, but some of these rappers are out here, living a fast life, money, 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 and girls, and that's it. And he's probably scared that she might run into some dudes that are all about that life and will defile his daughter the way him and or people he knows have defiled other women in the past. Now, here's my problem. I think this is a whole huge thing for something that could have just been spoken about at the dinner table it could have just been spoken about at home if you have the guts and <laughs> the idea to go with her to this kind of appointment why not just sit with her at home and talk about this you know talk openly about everything who is she seeing is she dating anybody what are they like get to see these people that are in her life and let's have an open conversation i think you know that real good parenting is when all things literally all things whether good or bad can be discussed openly without any judge what can be done about whatever situation your child finds themselves in and they also need to be taught on you know how sacred they are how sacred their bodies and what kind of dude actually deserves it and these are things that can just be spoken about openly but what he did was he took it to social media and now the whole business is out there for the whole world to know this is something that should have been if anything if anything and they're gonna do something like this it should be kept private I think the whole issue is that now the whole entire world knows about it and that was just not necessary completely uncalled for it's not everything that needs to be out there on social media you know and once it's out there it's out there for good and it People need to watch their tongue. People need to know when to speak and when to be quiet. Does he get brownie points for being best out of the year because he takes it that far to ensure that she's not engaging in this kind of stuff? You know, some people say they don't want to knock him for being overprotective because there are dads out there that are deadbeat dads and at least he's not a deadbeat dad. He's in the child's life and stuff like that. I'm like, we're not, okay. We shouldn't knock him because he's being overprotective, blah, 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 deadbeat dad. Listen, can we just have normality? Cause this is the other side of the spectrum right so you have dead be dad bang on here and then now uh, here you've got super overprotective and doing things that have never been done in the history of man can we just have but what's what's happening here what, what's happening in this section right here where normality lies and flows where families are normal and happy and there is communication and everything is out in the open what happens here in this middle part what happens here what happens here in this middle part you know it's all either here or here especially on social media it's either way out here or way out there either they're not showing us the normality that is going on here but all we seem to see is these extreme ends and extreme in anything is never a good thing he doesn't have to be a thousand percent off the radar right here he doesn't have to be doo -doo 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 way out there when we can just bring it back in have a hundred percent normal dude normal that this is not normal you know how i know it's not normal because i ain't never heard of this before nobody has ever heard of this before that's how you know that this is not common it is not that anyway and it is weird to say the least it's almost as if it's like i'm gonna sh share with the world what you're up to so that you don't make any crazy stupid decisions in the future and my thing is do we need to make kids ashamed about this topic do we need to, to make it something that we 
we don't talk about and so the whole year they're just gonna live in their life you know and just doing doing things just living my life hey, 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 hey. No, that's a song that's on anyway just gonna live your life a whole year and then when your birthday comes instead of being excited like everybody is especially at that age you're just gonna be like oh dear here come that appointment again and i think it's very embarrassing for the girl because this is a private matter concerning her sex life or whether she has it or whether she doesn't have it it's still her sex life and what she wants to do with it and that is not for anybody else to know this type of information is very precious i feel like all the people as well because i've watched this over a few days on social media and all the people that say this is a beautiful thing he's being a dad that's involved in his child's life i don't think any of these people have had the situation play out in their own home to have a sticky note put on your door yeah no tomorrow whether you like it or yes we are going you imagine tiny the mother of, of the kid so what you about to do well, to change her hand you know what i'm saying now if she came out herself and, and told us you know i've never done the deal before that would have been different but again why would she some people do do it and they're proud of it you know especially especially because of religious reasons or anything like that people do do it you know to encourage others you know keep keep everything sacred keep everything holy and yeah you know you can do it because i can do it too so you can do it you know but this was just blasted out there and then to find out on social media people were com commenting on this whole situation and they were saying that oh this is really a shame why what did you do this da, 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 da. um she herself was liking some of these comments that were kind of confused about why this this was happening to her so that means that she herself as in the daughter agreed that this is probably not the best way to go about things. I just think the whole situation is sad. I don't know why everything needs to go on social media. I don't know why we need to put everything on podcast, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Snapchat. Durr. I don't know why we need to put everything out there. It's none of anybody's business. Just do you, do normal things, bring it all the way in, have normal communication. You see, communication, the lack thereof, is the source of all that is going wrong in this world. If we all just spoke openly, and agreed to disagree on some things, but also not force people into things that they don't want to do, I think the world would be a much better place. And I think it's sad, and I think communication needs to be better, especially in the family home, since that is where everybody flees the nest and then becomes the people that they become. Criminals, murderers, good people, you know, uh, humanitarians, doctors, nurses, lawyers, whatever. It is from that family home. That is where you get your base, that's where you get your moral code, that's where you get your values, everything set. And then you go out into the world and then your environment gets a chance to influence you even more. Not that they were not able to do that when you were in the family home, but obviously once you flee the nest, it becomes, you know, you're, you're much more free to explore and see different things and meet different people and always have your parents like looking over your shoulder to see who it is you're talking to and what it is that you're doing. So I think that communication within the household is very important. I've seen people even at work that do not know how to communicate. They do not know what to do when it comes to communication, when it comes to confrontation, when it comes to debates, when it comes to discussions, everything is like awkward. Oh, I don't want to be awkward. Oh, I don't want to offend. Oh, I don't, I don't actually want to say that because they might think this. And they might, no, speak openly so that when you're out in the world, you can be real. Everybody's always talking about being real. Well, the only way to be real is to really express what you think and what you feel and respect other people though. But say what you think and what you feel so that we know the true you. I think that we need to change this expeditiously. Okay? So, yeah, that needs to be changed. One thing that I will say, even if you're checking over there, hmm, there is different ways to do there's different ways to do this thing and he should know that and he will know that so she might not be going out you know having sex in the conventional way but maybe she's doing some other things which he cannot check anyway and she will continue to engage in sexual activities in those other ways maybe for years and years and years and years and years to come because until she, she feels like she's grown and she can just step up to the dad and be like there it is I done it and what you gonna do about it maybe or she decides to say you know what actually I'm gonna wait till marriage and you know do it that way another thing I was thinking is so let's say birthday I don't know is 
in November. She gets she gets the hymen check and everything. And then her sex in like January. Then she has a whole lot of months to wait for the next check. Check. So she can just be walking around, cruising and living her best life and be sexually active all this time. What's gonna happen really once he finds out that she's been having sex? Because his son has been having sex and he said in one of the shows that he's been having sex since he was 14 and he admitted to that himself and he did not get well that's what they show us on the show um, but he did not get because they have they're in some reality TV show and um, he did not get any slack for that so it's different for boys but not for girls but it's not the same boys that are gonna be chasing after your girls oh my lord please make it make sense please make it make sense it's the same guys that are gonna be chasing these girls so why don't we Train the kids, train the boys in the same way you treat the girls so that your girls won't have to meet F boy boys out there in these streets. Hey, my goodness, me, I'm done. Oh, no, I'm not done. Come on, not. <laughs> it's almost as if some of these parents just wake up one day and realize that their kid is 18, and all this while. You don't know what the heck it is that they were doing, how they were raising them, whether they know what the kid is actually thinking, or whether they were just walking about. Oh, that's my baby, that's my baby, that's my baby. Whoa, oh, oh, they're 21 now. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you got a car, uh-huh. You can drink, mm-hmm. You can get married, uh-huh. You can buy a house, mm-hmm. You know, it's like they just sit there and wait for life to just happen to them all the way through and my question is so who is giving them guidance who is actually bringing them up is it the tv is it social media is it people around them is it people at school like who is doing the raising of this kid because you obviously were not prepared for them to all of a sudden be 18 now you haven't had any discussions now you're going to do some kind of you know weird form of parenting that involves zero communication and zero trust there is no trust in this no values instilled no lessons taught but only exhibiting bad behavior and then turning around do as i say not as i do kind of thing that's how a lot of parents be rolling these days check those videos of these parents recently that have been bashing bashing their kids online to show them a lesson maybe they're being promiscuous or all these type of things on social media so the mom snatch the phones out of their kids hands and it's usually daughters but I've seen some guys as well snatch the phones out of the, the kids hands and then say oh okay you think you bang huh mm, you think you bang okay and then go on to their social media and go on Instagram live and I'm like okay See this girl over here and call them all kinds of derogatory names and um, being like yeah so this is the girl this is my child this is the one that was twerking and busting a wide open on instagram live yesterday this is her she don't even wipe her butt well she don't even she don't even clean her bathroom space look at it look at it it's nasty tell people that you don't clean your bathroom tell people that you're nasty tell people that you still pee in the bed tell people that all these type of things and it's all on instagram live for all their followers and all their friends and all their peers to see to embarrass them and what kind of emotional torture is that what made them do that because most of the time these parents will be bashing their kids for speaking foul language and all this stuff but on the instagram live what are they exhibiting foul language that's exactly what they're doing they're speaking exactly like their kids and not wondering where that behavior ever would have come from like i'm done i'm done that you know i'm done honestly honestly yeah honestly nah i've got no more notes i've got nothing more to say this is disgusting it's embarrassing and it's not necessary we need to stop it we need to take it from way up there and bring it back in here Bring it back to 100%. Let's stay on the radar. Let's not go all over the top. Deadbeat dads, deadbeat moms, overprotective moms, overprotective dads. It's not necessary. Let's just keep it 100. Let's just keep it real. Let's get a conversation going. Let's just keep the communication 100. And train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he's old, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way he should go or she should go in this instance. And even when he or she is old, they will not depart from it. They will not depart from it. Instill your values, instill godly values, good values into these kids, and they will not depart from it. Okay? Because I'm bringing this up. I'm bringing this up as 
speak through it. I'm bringing this up, it's especially because some of these rappers and singers and all the rest of it claim to be Christian, but then at the end of the day, I don't know. I don't know. They're not. I, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Make sure, as always, you hit bump stop and don't turn that subscribe button and do what? Hit the notification bell whilst you're at it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. See you in the next one. Bye. As of a few hours ago, um, Deja has actually unfollowed TI on social media. I just hope that whatever breakdown most likely will happen in that family and between them that that father-daughter relationship will be restored one way or the other i just hope and pray that they'll be able to work things out and that the relationship whatever is broken can be mended but most importantly that the foolishness will stop because they gotta stop okay there is one thing that i actually want to mention that i didn't hear a lot of people talk about and that is that i am absolutely so proud of this girl for you know being in the environment that she she's in she's amongst you know she can get anything she wants you know she's not deprived of anything she can meet loads of guys and she could be out there hoeing it up and for some reason by the grace of god this girl is keeping it together and keeping herself right and tight and holy till the right dude comes along and I don't know her motives behind that. I don't know whether she's doing that because of these yearly checks. I don't know why she's doing that. But Deja, please, 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 please don't give it up to one of these nonsensical, nonsense guys that are running on these streets. You know, not everybody is worth that precious, precious, precious thing you got right now. Not everybody's worth it. And I also just want to make a point that everybody is saying all kinds of things. I just pray that this now doesn't make her think, okay, so if everybody thinks I'm already doing other stuff, but I'm actually not, I'm now going to go out there and do the other stuff. I pray and hope that that is not what she's going to do. That she will just stay the course and, and, and you know, she she's young. She's young and I hope that this is not going to tip her the other way you know that this whole scandal is not going to tip her the other way it is not worth it it is not worth it go to your college do your thing ignore the haters okay and maybe this will actually inspire some young girls to you know you know check themselves before they wreck themselves okay to like stay away stay away from day you know until it's the right time until it's the right time Oh, Lord, what a mess. What a mess. I feel so, so sorry for her. I really do. But, uh, young girl, it's going to be all right. The internet, social media, and everybody else only got an attention span of about 10 seconds. So, this too shall blow over. This too shall pass. There is an end to everything.